Next on our lineup of panelists, we have Stephen Ingram. And uh, Stephen Ingram has worked with Halliburton as a field hydraulic fracturing engineer, then as an accountant leader, and he's now focused on developing the Eagle Ford shale plate in South Texas. He's a pretty important person for Halliburton and for our area. Um, he holds a Bachelor's of Science degree in Chemical Engineering from the University of Missouri Rolla and a dual master's degree in natural gas engineering and management from the University of Oklahoma. We're very excited to have Stephen Ingram here from Halliburton, which has helped to pioneer a lot of these techniques for horizontal drilling and hydraulic fracturing, uh, and has kind of, has really led the way with uh, these new techniques uh, all in, 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 our, in our country and now in our region. So uh, without further ado, Let's give a warm Laredo welcome also to Mr. Stephen Ingram. Thank you. I'm going to give a, a little bit of background about who I am, kind of where I've developed. Uh, Halliburton's obviously been hydraulic fracturing for around 50 plus years now. Uh, the very first frac job occurred in, uh, in the early 1950s at the Texas Oklahoma border. Um, and, and in that sense, uh, you can see the the, the changeover in the technologies and the applications along the way. Everything that's done uh, from a hydraulic fracturing standpoint comes from understanding the reservoir itself. The reason why we hydraulically fracture is because the oil and gas uh, doesn't flow by itself. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit today about where Halliburton is. Uh, there's a few slides I want to introduce kind of where Halliburton is today in the South Texas area. Describe to you a little bit of our growth plans uh, um, that's going to impact the, uh, a lot of different economies. Uh, here in the, the South Texas area and talk about the Eagle Ford, uh, and where we're going. Um, I want to mention though that, uh, that the, the Eagle Ford Task Force that, uh, that Commissioner David Porter and the, uh, the, the state of Texas has, has implemented, I think this is a very valuable aspect. Um, there's operators on this, the Sierra Club is, is on it, um, there's both judges, uh, members of the service industry and operators that are, that are combining on this with a main focus point of, of educating the public as best that we possibly can. Because uh, having been a, a basically a hydraulic fracturing engineer for the last decade, what I've certainly observed is an inability or, or a very poor ability for our industry to communicate effectively what we're doing and why we're doing it. Um, there's a lot of benefits to hydraulic fracturing and the development of shales uh, for our country, for job growth, etc. Um, and so this is a great effort. I think that in, in some way, shape, we'll be, uh, we'll be trying to, to invoke uh, future legislation. Um, and, and impact that in, in some form or fashion. And with such a wide uh, variety of, of constituents representing environmental aspects, pro-business aspects, the development of, of shale and technology, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how that, how that develops. So, um, so, you know, it's interesting. Today, actually yesterday, marked the first time that the Eagle for Shale surpassed 200 rigs actively drilling horizontally in the Eagle for Shale, which is tremendous. Just uh, an, an, an unbelievable growth rate for a play. The Haynesville really ramped up quickly, but the Eagle Ford has, has surpassed it. On an average week right now, around three to four rigs are entering the South Texas environment to actively drill for oil and gas in the Eagle Ford shale play. And it, and it has a huge, a huge range. I'll, talk, I'll try to describe to you the, uh, the relevance of the size between this particular play and some of the other plays that are here. But, you know, this chart, and, and, and all the little black dots represent all the, act, all the wells that have been drilled to date uh, as of yesterday uh, in the play. Um, I'll give some statistics about our involvement uh, on a lot of these plays. Halliburton today has, uh, has a service being completed on around 80% uh, of the wells that are actively drilled. That doesn't mean that we represent 80% of the services that go on, but we're on 80% of the wells. So one of the things that we've been able to observe is a lot of best practices from a lot of different operators as they operate in different fashions. And what we certainly seek to do is take those best practices and share it with our other clients and constituents um, for the betterment of them, their asset, and how they, how they act. Um, Halliburton is, 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 is physically located in facilities in, in, these, in these particular areas. Uh, across South Texas. And one of the interesting things that we saw was there was a tremendous uh, downward uh, um, environment and commodity prices in the 2008-2009 timeframe, which I, I'm sure a lot of people in this, in this room observed. 
Um, one of the interesting things is, is, is Halliburton actually ended up not closing any of its facilities uh, during this time frame. And we took on a lot of employees from our competitors uh, and our operators uh, during that time frame. And, and we certainly didn't know that the Eagleford was coming at that time frame. But it put us in a position to, to, to formally capitalize on, on the boom that has occurred. Um, so we've been blessed from that perspective. Um, we've been operating in South Texas for about 50 years in different facilities. And we're certainly expanding very, very rapidly. Uh, we've recently purchased uh, uh, acreage south of San Antonio for the development of what Halbert calls a super camp that, that has all of its products and services. It'll eventually employ around 2,000 employees, um, and, and we'll be breaking ground on that facility probably within probably within about four months. So great things that are occurring right now. Um, what I want to get into first is, uh, is is typically the topic I get questioned mostly about is. What do we know about hydraulic fracturing and, and fracture height growth? And, and so I want to want to cover hydraulic fracturing. Um, Halliburton does a great amount of uh, of investment in new technologies, but we also know that we can't uh, create every new technology that, that's out there. And we we acquired Pinnacle Technologies, which is a microseismic mapping company, uh, about four years ago. And and to this point, the the area around the globe that we do more microseismic mapping is the Eagle for Shale today. Uh, we've mapped around 90 wells uh, in the Eagleford Shale, and we're going to be publishing every single data point that we've ever collected in October um, at an SPE conference in Denver. Um, but I'm going to describe to you some of the things that we see. Uh, 